Minecraft 1.21 is shaping up to be a really solid update. From Minecraft Live, we will learn that we are getting a whole new dungeon, new blocks in the form of tough blocks and copper blocks, new mobs such as the armadillo and the breeze, the legendary new crafter block, which will revolutionize how we craft things, as well as a new spawner block that's going to personally revolutionize how I make my little dungeons. All of these are really solid updates. Automated crafting is one of those things that you only would really see in a mod, but then Mojang just decided to throw it into the game, kind of like horses way back in the day. But it feels to me like the community is at a tipping point, that a lot is riding on this update. So what has happened with the previous updates that has made this one a tipping point for so many people in the community? What can Mojang do this time to ensure that players continue playing the game? To answer that, I think we need to go back to one of my favorite updates in recent Minecraft history, 1.16. In June of 2020, during the start of the COVID outbreak, Minecraft saw one of its biggest updates released, the Nether Update. This is arguably one of the most significant updates to Minecraft, and especially its progression since 1.9. This update overhauled the Nether, adding in four new biomes, all new plants and mobs, as well as new structures and music, and above all, it added a new layer of progression to the game in the form of Netherite. Netherite wasn't just some new ore, it had an entirely different flow when it comes to obtaining better tools. Netherite changed how crafting tools and armor works in Minecraft, and we see the effects of this all the way into 1.20, with the introduction of things like armor trims and smithing templates. Mojang set out to not just add a new tier of gear, but also change how we obtain said gear and the work that goes into it. Crafting a Netherite ingot from nature to breeze and gold ingots is a really genius move, requiring that players not only have diamond tools to upgrade, but also have gold to create the ingots themselves is a really smart way to change up the flow of progression. Minecraft's progression prior to this was, find ore, mine it, make better tools, find better ore, mine that, and make better tools up until you found diamond, and at which point you just started hoarding those and I don't know, make it, making a beacon or something. All of this is to say that Netherite really changed how the game progressed, and you couple this with the very streamlined and focused vision of the update, and you have a phenomenal update that changed the game and brought back a lot of old players. So how could Mojang follow this up? Why not overhaul the overworld and mining and caves? It seems like a pretty good move. Caves and Cliffs was a phenomenal update. I think it just got kind of crushed by development time and broken promises. When 1.17 was announced, it was supposed to include new terrain above ground, expanded underground with three whole new underground biomes, new ores like copper and amethyst. Amethyst isn't technically an order, but you get the point. A new terrifying mob in the form of the Warden, a whole new dungeon in the form of ancient cities, the bundle, archaeology. There's too much here. You get the point though, right? This is way too many things to have in a single update. I think Mojang assumed because of how well they overhauled the nether, they could probably just overhaul the overworld just as easily. But it is clear now that they put too much into it all at once, and the consequences of this are even seen today leading up to 1.21. 1.17 was pretty lackluster. It added amethyst copper and some new moss blocks and dripstone blocks that you could buy from the wandering trader, but it didn't add any of the cool features we wanted to see, like the bundle or the deep dark or the new world generation. We did, however, get the glow squid. I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to talk about that one. <laughs> I have strong feelings, but I'm not going to talk about it. And then finally in 1.18, we got the world generation changes, and that did bring back a lot of people. I think that changing how ores generate uh, was a much needed update to Minecraft because it changes how we mine, right? But then the community was soured yet again by the fact that the ancient city archaeology and the warden were not coming into this update. We'd have to wait until next year with the wild update. And the wild update was anything but its namesake. I mean, I, you could technically call it wild and then it seems like they had no idea what, what kind of direction they were going for with this update, so they just threw shit at a wall until it stuck. But what's really amazing um, about this update is how many things they overpromised, and they did overpromise a lot. Initially, this started as a cool uh, addition to the game. We're finally getting the final uh, features of Caves and Cliffs, except for archaeology, because at this point we just thought it was canceled. We're getting the Deep Dark, we're getting the Warden, we're getting a new swamp, we're getting frogs, we're getting an LA. This started out as a really, really cool update. But then, pretty quickly, once we started to realize that fireflies are getting canceled, the birch biome uh, was getting canceled, the community felt very, very, very unhappy, especially with the fireflies. That was a big deal. Um, this all led to 1.20 not even having its initial name revealed. 
We get some really cool additions in the game in, in 1.20, like cherry blossoms, armor trims, and archaeology. However, this update felt disconjointed as well. The sniffer won the mob of that year, and it turned out to be a rather lackluster mob. You spawn it in, it sniffs around, and that's that's about it. It gives you some two cool plants, and they're not even that great. And that's like the whole update. I guess camels too, if you're into that sort of thing. But my point is, after f several years of updates feeling, uh, feeling kind of lackluster and leaving people feeling alienated, hurt, or dissatisfied, it's clear, to me at least, that Mojang really needs to step up their game with 1.21. Uh, as I said before, I think the update's shaping up to be really good. For me, the new Trial Spawner is going to revolutionize how I make dungeons on my little Minecraft server. Uh, you should check it out, shameless plug. Uh, for many, the new Tough and Copper blocks are going to add a ton to building, and of course, the Crafter is going to uh, probably revolutionize many automated farms. I think all these are good, and Mojang seems to be focused on combat and tinkering with this update, and I think they should go all in on this theme. Obviously, the Nether update and the Caves and Cliffs update were two very focused updates, and it seems that the best Minecraft updates are the ones that are focused. But I think that there are some things that they can do uh, with combat specifically, since that seems to be kind of what they're focusing on and tinkering, um, that I think would do a lot of good. Obviously, 1.9 combat is controversial and Bedrock Edition doesn't even use it, uh, and big servers like Hypixel don't use it, uh, but I think it's a little a little better than the old combat. I know I'm like the worst kind of person out there. I think 1.9 is a little better, but I think there's like a happy middle ground that we can, we can come here. Mojang has released um, several combat snapshots over the years, but there seems to be no sign of any of these things actually getting put into the game anytime soon. I think 1.21 is a perfect opportunity to change the combat for the better. Perhaps with some new uh, aspects of like the rabbit click style, bringing that back from 1.8, uh, maybe with some new critical hit style of things that do more dock knockback or do more damage or maybe damage armor more uh, for players who want to wait to charge up their weapon and then swing. Um, I think this would be a really, really good change. Uh, and if you want to go a little further, we maybe need to add in those things that we've been wanting to add in for a long time that were canceled. We're still waiting on the bundle, for example. I've been using bundles on my server uh, since they were available in the game, and they're a wonderful tool. They fix many issues with the inventory system. It's a truly wonderful item. Mojang has stated that they struggled to get the controls to work with it on mobile devices, which is understandable, although I can think of a couple ways that I personally think it would work that would maybe be a little bit cumbersome, but it definitely work. Um, beyond bundles, automated chest organization would be a great thing. Basically, quality of life changes. Uh, Terraria does automated chest organization fantastically. There's a little button in the corner of the chest screen that you click and it automatically sorts all the items in the chest. You can also automatically stack items from your inventory into the chest all at once by clicking a button without having to move them all individually. A feature like this would be amazing in Minecraft and it would be it would go perfect with the bundle being added in. Finally, I think that the mob vote this year was a tipping point for a lot of people with how bad the mob vote went and how many people were so against it. I think it's time that Mojang maybe try to work on adding in a couple of those mobs. I think, you know, adding things like the Isolager or the Crab RIP, you know, or something else that people really, really loved would be a good move. Now, you can't add them all. I totally understand that. But I think that a couple of them wouldn't be too far to ask. You know, it wouldn't be too hard for them to do. I think having these mobs in the game would make people feel good. Uh, they'd feel a lot better about the mob votes. And I think it's also time maybe next year to switch up mob votes entirely. But I understand that like, maybe not all of these things can go into one update. There's a lot that I've listed here, and I, I think it would be unreasonable to assume that Mojang could throw all of those things in, because not all of those things are related. I think they should maybe stick to an idea, and it seems to be combat right now, and maybe they should focus on that. But there's a really, really big update that so many people are wanting to do for 1.22. So what comes after 1.21? The end needs overhauled. I am far from the first person to mention this, and I'm certain I am not going to be the last one. The end needs the exact same treatment as a nether update. It needs new biomes, new structures, new mobs, new forms of progression. While I'm a sucker for new tools and armor, I'm not sure if Mojang wants to add ender armor or tools to the game. I think we got some, I think we got some like new dungeon and maybe some new structures and new biomes, uh, and maybe some unique loot within those that are only found in the end dimension or maybe themed around the end in some sort of way. I think an end update would be really well received. Uh, I think maybe some new enemies that could take advantage of some of the new combat changes if they did the combat changes in 1.21. Uh, or whenever this update actually it would be it'd be really funny if they changed combat again when they update the end again I just that that'd be really funny 
Um, all this is to say that I think that the next Minecraft update, 1.21, has to set the stage for probably the next big one. Obviously, we're not getting the end update right now. We already know that, we've seen that from Minecraft Live, but I think that 1.21 is a good way to set up for the end update. If we can get some quality of life changes, some combat changes, we'd really set up for a big update next year. And I think that if we do that, or if we get that, I should say, then I think Mojang will be in a really good position. Anyway, uh, that's my video. Uh, I don't know why, I just thought I'd kind of make like a little video essay kind of thing. I've been doing YouTube for the past 11 years, and uh, I've mostly been doing uh, kind of non-scripted kind of content, definitely different than this. I'm putting a lot more effort into this video, uh, hoping that it will reach out there and grab some people's attention. So if you did like it, uh, tell me your ideas of what you think like a perfect Minecraft update would be in the near future. Obviously the end is going to be like a super popular idea, uh, but if you liked the video, please like it and please subscribe. I'm going to start trying to upload daily videos like this one, little short video essay. Uh, it may go well, it may not. We'll just have to go ahead and see. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see more videos about Minecraft or other games, which I do plan on talking about, or other things in general, uh, let me know in the comment section below. And uh, please hit subscribe. Goodbye.